enough for a talk about badness and I'm a fool. Me, original jungle said that. I'm going to take back them talk. Yo. Like a passport body. For the bees are funny. What a permanent separator. Such is hot marine. Blessed, blessed my people. Welcome back. You see me? So peeps, today we're going to talk about a dancehall artist, you know what I mean? Who was very prominent in the late 80s, early 90s, you know what I mean? And end up losing his life very tragically. And the artist that I'm talking about is an artist who went by the name Risto Benji. So people, Michael Benjamin, O.C. Risto Benji was born on the 3rd of March 1973 in Waterhouse, Kingston, Jamaica. This is also the area in which he grew up. You know that Waterhouse, Kingston is a very rough area of Kingston, Jamaica. I know I am boss, enough boy, they even know at Tivoli school we go. And a waterhouse, my barn and grow from me a youth, me the Ativali Garden. And we no go around and push up and show up and go on like so we approve nothing. Cause you don't know me as a youth child. I just wanna wear my child every youth a garden, no. Garrison type of settings. So this is the kind of settings that Risto Benji was brought up in. You get to me as a people, you know, the environment have a lot to do with children, you know what I mean, how them grow. You get me? So Risto Benji grew up in this rough area. Risto Benji knew that he wanted to do music from a very young age. Hence, at the age of 8 years old, he started to hang around with King Jammy, you know what I mean, at King Jammy Studio. King Jammy had a studio in that area. King Jammy was also one of the top producers back in the days, you know what I mean, as also sound system owner. And Risto Benji, as a little youth, will love the music always hang around, you know what I mean. And King Jammy, them see the talent in a him and see the potential and decided that they were going to give him a chance and allow him to record because Risto Benji is a youth that always have him own idea, you know what I mean? Know what he want to do. So whenever him get a rhythm, him always know exactly what kind of track him supposed to put on it to get him as the people. You know, him have King Jammy them and the other elder them around him to kind of guide him as it relates to him word usage and so on. As also, them give him assistance with him melodies, you know what I mean? Where to slow down, where to speed up and so on and so forth. But he was under proper mentorship from those senior music pioneers. King Jammy also pointed out that the place where he owned his first studio belonged to the family of Risto Benji. You know what I mean? King Jammy knew Risto Benji, mother, father, everybody for him. You know what I mean? King Jammy was good with the family. Hence, it was easy for Risto Benji to get a chance around King Jammy. You know what I mean? To record music. So people, recognizing and loving the talent that Risto Benji had. You know what I mean? King Jammy decided that he was going to take a chance with the youngster and put out two of his songs that the young man had recorded. These songs are titled Give Me The Money and another one which is kind of fiery and slack. It's titled Passport Body. However, the song titled Give Me The Money became a big hit for Risto Benji at such a young age as the radio stations gobbled up that song and you know I mean that song was all over the radio stations all over the airwaves however the other song passport body did not make it mainstream but however that song was very big in the dance hall you know what I mean because it was a slack song so you know the radio station them never really a care no slack song same like now but back in them time they see people that song they, they run dance hall Every stage show Risto Benji pull up on as a little youth and drop the song that the place shell down. So people, with the release of those two songs, Risto Benji become a superstar and he was an indie man artist all over. Hence, he went on several tours all over the world accompanied by King Jammy and others. You know, King Jammy said that in an interview that he toured the world with Risto Benji, you know what I mean, people. So Risto Benji get to see the world as a little youth, you know what I mean, boss as a big superstar, and him did a run of the place. Risto Benji was referred to as the number one artist back in that time when he was reigning. So people, now that Risto Benji become famous, you know, Risto Benji started to hang out with a lot of other 
high profile entertainers such as Shabba Rankin, you know what I mean? He even did a collaboration with Beanie Man, which is a song titled Cry. He also did a collaboration with Ninja Man, a song titled Pepper Pot. So people, with all that fame, that attention as a young man, you know what I mean? From Waterhouse, you know, Risto Benji had a fault, you get him as a people. Risto Benji was a bad boy. From him is a little youth. You get me I say Risto Benji is a youth where nobody couldn't talk to. He never used to really take talk from people. Come in a favor stand up in front. No DJ anytime. Me Benji said that. Bad boy. Enough more talk about badness and I'm a fool. Me, original jungle said that. Rude boy as with a lot of people that say are bad picnic. So Risto Benji, little youth, him done it like the badness from beginning and now him turn superstar and him a link with whole heap of other people. You know a whole heap of man around him in him ears that tell him say him around the place because you know what I mean a little money I come film with as a little boy and him can give something. You know say Risto Benji now take talk and start to get himself mixed up in a all different kind of things. You know King Jammy never really liked the direction in which Risto Benji was heading and when them try to talk to him, you know, him still not in a talk, you know, hence them have music that he recorded and they did not release the music that he recorded based on his behavior and the way his life was going at the time, you know what I mean? It could have been said that it was a bit tricky. Even though Risto Benji continued for DJ and release music, you know, King Jammy never really want to release any music because of the kind of vibes where Risto Benji are all and the whole heap of badness, badness thing and so on and so forth. They get the mass of people. So King Jammy basically I take him time. I try to sideline him, you know what I mean? I watch him to see if him will change. But however people, Risto Benji continue to go around and DJ and doing music, you know what I mean? From his teen years, you know what I mean? He managed to survive, you know? After a time, Risto Benji start to realize that there's more to life than this badness, badness thing. So, you know, him kind of cool down a little bit, you know what I mean? He never really maybe put it down full time because you don't see him on a lot of stage shows attacks him a bad man still and so on, you know what I mean, people? But overall, you know, Risto Benji kind of get more cautious and him grew up, but over time, people, you know, the fame kind of grew away leave him because want to take on certain level of negativity on yourself you know you know that you can't really push out the way or you really want to push out because you can't really hold the proper meditation so you can sing the proper music because if you get yourself mixed up in any form of wrongs what will happen is that you know say people are going to hurt you you know what i mean if you have to think about the law at the same time so it's hard for the artist to sit down and really hold a proper meditation so you know what i mean over time the thing kind of really left Risto Benji, you know what i mean still a superstar but he was a superstar that was not really shining at that was not really shining much in his later years so now we look at the tragic manner in which Risto Benji lost his life people you know what i mean on the 6th of may 2011 rista benji was shot and killed in an area known as vietnam in church pen old harbor saint catherine according to the reports read this incident it is alleged that benjamin was sitting outside a house when he was approached by a lone gunman who shot him multiple times and then made this escape a very very sad moment for the dance hall fraternity you get mass of people dance hall has lost a foundation member who opened the door for many young youth who have a musical dream you get the mass of people but when i look at the situation under which Risto Benji was killed in the people. It is possible for him to have been set up by somebody who know him. You see people because for a lone gunman to just approach you in a situation like that, it will almost have to be somebody who you know or somebody who you were expecting. But you see the way how Risto Benji live him life, people. It is hard to know the real reason why he lost his life. You get him as a people, but them say if you spread a bit hard, you are going to lay down your night hard. You see it, people. Risto Benji, a very talented artist, you know what I mean? did exceptionally well when he got his big break. You know what I mean? But it's only sad that he lost his way one at a time. You see it, people. That is just my bit on this situation. You can leave your opinion in the comment section. Or if there are persons who know more than I could say, 
they can also leave it in the comment section i would really appreciate that as also you can like subscribe and share peace what it what it bomba club the things that you know us and different come for different things all the junglers then big up all time see to the max very full on the rhythm there all the max of them I lost the girls that were comfortable for all times. See? I'll dunk her up massive, pick up on the self, man. See? I'll work on the Watch this. Me at the fast food body, pretty bees are funny. What a permanent staff for it to sex in city. Me at the fast food body, pretty bees are funny. What a permanent staff for it to touch it. And Marie, you can't stop dead over. We and Marie, long time the girl want the body. And Marie, you can't stop dead over. This is Shabba, I'm my father The Dan Gaga named Ninja A bad boy, red run boy yeah. He might be 14 gun and he a big murderer Spit shot in a any boy face of yeah. But me I tell your people look here yeah. You know so Shabba, he a big timer Right and now, the run no contest Shabba don't sign contract with CBS That mean no bumbo hole can't test Bumbo hole can't kick Shabba in them chest Just jump around on Shabba buckler Wallet, 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 in a favor, stand up in front, no DJ, anytime. Me Benji said that. Bad boy. Enough boy I talk about badness and I'm a fool. Me, original jungle said that. Me not take back them time. Yo, me. I don't want no guy come here and talk about bad boy. Me kick down that no, me a bad man, gun man too. No, 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 Wallet, 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 simple. Lower, 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 lower. Not, not, not. People, come out as a ninja. <laughs> My lad, people, are the world greatest DJ at this first stage. Slus here in order. And Cabra, Cabra. Ninja, you're a DJ. Eh? And any a try prove nothing against the ninja, my lad. Y'all get a judgment. Rista, leave this so my lad, Rista, my lad, leave the state. Y'all get a judgment. Y'all get a judgment. Leave the state, Pupa. Leave it, my lad. Yo, 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 yo. Bring the band to Benji. What? Move. Man, we bust your pussy. Move. Yes. No big request to our crew and crew, no pitch just for our whole time. It's a daily, Joseph, and I teach her, Charlie, rough. Ring ding ding ding, ring ding 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 ding, ring ding 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 ding. What do you know? Cream on the cup, the cream on the cup, one shot. Cream on the cup, me and the cream on the, one shot. Me no slim, could have fat, could have brown, could have black. Me say you no give no girl back shot. No one no girl come poop pa me cock. Lizard lap, swamp jump. Irish mash, na me back. Beet root, carrot, steam fish, makaba. Them me think they make me cocky up. Me like this, like that. Me say she want it right from the spot. She love admiral like that. And choose the wheel. Who like that? Me is a youth. Say me a dad. Choose the wheel body of extension. I want you to know the enough. Show them see a shot. Them think your body shot like you. <laughs> ring ding ding ding. Ring ding 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 ding. Ring ding 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 ding. Ring ding ding. Ring ding ding. Come follow me everybody. Come follow me. Come follow me, everybody. Come follow me. Solid 
shuffling. She got ready. Man, she was severe. She got ready. Me is a youth man from country. From me come, me no get no pussy. Bird time, na me body. Me girl come, lem with it. Mr. Benji, no easy. I saw me take long. Bunny, she was severe. Charlie, Beverly, Patsy, and my 